Thank you all guys for having invited me to this uh, event once more year. And I would like to start with my presentation by demystifying Apple Pie and the Touch ID. Before anything to be said, unlike some media have published on the internet, I didn't publish any vulnerability on Touch ID on Apple Pay. My talk will do and will deal with a project I did some months ago. No information was about this project, so I want to come here and demystify what, uh, what's uh, Apple Pay and Touch ID. I want to really, really brush brushed upon Apple. I wanted to criticize Apple Pay and make them feel, feel shameful. So, uh, Apple Pay research is work in progress. That's very true. As many other years, they told me that, that the characters in the this presentation was too a small size character, so you can download it from Twitter and get it uh, online. There, there is no zero day vulnerabilities in this talk. This talk is about Apple Pay internals and Touch ID implementation. You won't find any open attack on the internet because you require to have a device con J broker. My talk will be split up in four parts. Very two parts are theoretical. They are very, very simple because you have finished uh, at lunch. So I will introduce you to Apple Pay, then I will demystify Apple Pay, and, and then let's move on to messing with the runtime and by using C tracks. And then on part four, we'll command not on vulnerability, but with the false sensation and feeling of security when developers uh, talk about how ID and they do Apple Pay things. My name is Sebas. I always like hitting the, the ball and I like soccer and all this stuff. What's Apple Pay? Introduction to Apple Pay. You can see uh, the, say mobile payment service and digital wallet app that uses NFC to initiate secure payment transactions between contact class payment terminals and Apple iOS devices. How can I use it? Very firstly, you need to, to buy the iPhone, mobile phone. Once you got the iPhone, you can do it with um, in pay in-store. You purchase by just tapping the phone against a contactless POS and placing the finger on the touch ID. Always putting the, the finger on the fingerprint to update the, the, the payment. You can even do so with the tip over your nose, should you like it. Later, the other option is on pay in mobile apps, I mean, on iPhone, you have the, the button inside the application, so you touch press the button and this is it. You got, you got charts. A little bit interesting. What is the secure element? Se so uh, let's make it different uh, between host car emulation and secure element. My fellow members uh, talk about this before. S secure element is a tamper persistent platform capable of securely hosting applications and their confidential and crypt cryptographic data in accordance with the rules and security requirements. It can be considered a chip that offers a dynamic environment to store data securely. These devices cipher it and very firstly secure that third parties and it is untrusted can access it and no tampering is allowed. This was started uh, down by Google Wallet. Now let's move on to another solution and it's used by another important application whose name is the same as the one of the terrorist group now, which is ISIS Wallet, which uh, is being is, is being renamed because the <laughs> because the public relations person say ISIS Wallet, but they have renamed the, the same. Um, Apple Pay. And the, th the third, the second, the second option is the host car emulation, which uh, assumes that any data stored on a handset is vulnerable and therefore restricts the storage of sensitive data to host on a cloud database basis managed to a high security standard. Uh, preventing unauthorized access depends on four pillars, limited use scheme, the tokens, which we'll see what's going on, but basically a token is like a credit card, a fake one, 
which uh, substitutes the real one that used by the user. Thirdly, we have um, a sector of double authentication, which is in the case of Apple Pay with the device fingerprint. And fourthly, a, monitor, a monitoring of the network to check that everything is done correctly with transaction risk analysis. I said before, this is the very first part. I don't want to go into deeper, deeper, deeper uh, analysis. So let's move on to the demystification of what Apple is. What's Apple Pay? What do we refer by the name Apple Pay? We got five components. First one is Passbook, the application. If you go on the menu, you can get the Passbook and you can add your uh, credit card in two ways. Then we will see what the, the problems derived from this are. You can uh, take a picture of the, the, the credit card, you convert the image to text, and then if, if, if you get it captured in the actual credit, you move the information to the secure element and you assure it. And the other way is it introduces digit by digit. Second option, secure element. Uh, on, the next, on the next slide, it's a portion of a ship to 7 or to, to 8, depending on the version of the model phone, iPhone. This stores sensitive information belonging to the credit cards, the token according to Apple. Thirdly, we have the Secure Enclave and Touch ID, which allows us to um, perform the authorization of a payment. We are the person who, are, who is registered and is the owner of this uh, phone device. And the Secure Enclave is, is stored uh, the fingerprints of the, the, the fingers uh, in, a, in conformity with Apple. All the information is uh, encrypted. It's a, 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 a stunning lady. And then we have the NFC controller in routing all the communication in, on protocol NFC, which allows us from the T, from the iPhone, I'm moving the communication to TPU and finally moves it to the correct uh, uh, entity. This is done by NFC controller. Then we'll check the binaries. The perspective of this talk has been um, approached. I've, uh, I've gone through this uh, subject matter, I, I, no, I, I didn't find uh, documentation available. So instead of doing a theoretical um, talk, I want to make it as practical as possible. What are the findings I, I made and the, the main obstacles for you to get to the point to uh, reverse things and moving forward? And in fifth place, the Apple Pay service, which check that everything is okay and you are uh, tokenizing all things properly. So far, so good. So let's uh, explain the, the, the tenet to you. What is the story in the secret element? According to Apple, it's only a token. A token is a credit card a number representative of the original credit card introduced by the user. We are, we are not storing the original car or the um, uh, expiry date is a token nobody uh, knows under no circumstances nobody can extract information in interesting for it what is it the token use like i said we can consider a token like a fake credit card number to, to make a payment you uh, pass the terminal through the tpu sent to the payment network who contact the, the token service provider. This is not a token. This is not a credit card. It's a token. So I need to extract the real information from the real user who is proceeding to, to pay in order for me to make the payment. I'm, I'm going very quickly. How are the token provided? Very basically, the user takes and puts the credit card on Apple Space and it inserts the number of the account, the expiry date of CVV, and the Apple Pay application contacts Apple Pay service, which send the information to the payment network, which is uh, composed of several actors and players which 
um, later I will uh, upload an article. I decided to leave it out here because I, I don't even myself remember the name of this article. The credit card reaches the bank and talks with the uh, token service provider. I got this credit card. I need to, to analyze a token. Uh, the token service provider gets you the, the token and let's uh, make the ciphering of the communication and then let's do the process inversely, uh, the other way around. When the process is in the inverse, uh, Apple Pay says these token key information, which are metadata of what I mentioned before, are stored in the unsecure element. So I'm talking about the token. What's a token? What's a token, really speaking? A token has this structure. It's based upon three layers. The three main layers of the token are, as you see on screen. I'm very interested in showing you the payment token data with all the information regarding your credit card. What can we find in the payment token data? We find four fields. Firstly, the data, which is a ciphering dictionary containing the information in the next slide. Then we have a, a header adding additional information to the cipher, the header I mentioned before, the, typic, the typical signature to check there is no changes in between, and it is worthy of our trust, all the, the, the track down, and then the encrypted payment data. As I said before, this dictionary, which is a cipher, what information it con does it contain? It is made up of the, uh, several fields. It discovers um, things. Of course, you have the application primary account number, the expired date, who is the holder and the owner of this uh, account, the, 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 the amount of the transaction of this payment, and other relevant information, but I don't, I won't mention here, but keep it this in mind. I, uh, so uh, we know what, the, what is the token, what is the story in a secure element, very roughly speaking. I got my, my phone, as Ricardo said before, if I want to hack uh, if I want to steal information from a payment from, uh, on NFT, what can I do? The very first um, occurrence to myself with ISIS wallet, um, digital uh, wallet, you take, you can, you take the, the postman, you intercept the information on the antenna and knows the information uh, being transferred. The protocol says that when you are going to uh, make a transfer in the communication information, such information is exchange related. Uh, of this uh, credit card, uh, the, the track one, track two, uh, holder. I'm going to capture all this. To my surprise, when I made the payment, I didn't see a thing. I only saw zeros, zeros. What the fact is going on here? The, he's using MFSA, but it's not working. So I said to myself, Let's let's see what uh, what other perspective can I add to this uh, issue. My next perspective was the one used by everybody. I'm going to introduce a, a proxy of um, my own certification and let's get all the rubbish out of it. The first problem, they are making certifi certification spin and the binary in charge of the communications has been compiled with a sandbox profile uh, restricting communications from the outset to, to it. Uh, that is to say, if you are if you are using serial exposures, you are fucked up. You cannot communicate with a binary file. What is the solution? So you can get the binary modified with a hexamal uh, editor and modify the profile of the sandbox. I will tell you later on. Is you need to 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 change one word only. I modify the binary and as restorage and I start capturing the information. Here, over here, you'll, you'll see the token I mentioned before is data, the um, header, the, the version and signature. If you go to this um, project, the, the GitHub, you get through the swipe and you'll get all the data from the user. Uh, it's the very first delicious meal for you to, to, reco to recover this information. What happens in a payment? Like I said before, I won't mention it because you all know. 
each transaction is authorized with a one-time unique uh, number using your device account number and instead of using the security code from the back of your car, Apple Pay creates a dynamic, dynamic security code to securely validate each transaction from the press release. And this is it. This is it. So the device account number represents the token. The one-time unique number represents the dynamic cryptogram, and the dynamic secure code represents the dynamic CBB. Now let's move on to the secure enclave, where all this information is stored. What is a secure enclave? In the case of Apple, not with Google Wallet, which was with the this is wallet on the SIM card. Here with um, with Apple is is part of a A7 and A8 chips used for Touch ID, according to Apple, um, within the secure enclave, the fingerprint data is stored in, a, in an encrypted form, which can only be decrypted by a key available. Whenever you are going to make a payment, you need to put your fingerprint on the, on the biometric sensor. Otherwise, you cannot uh, perform the transfer. Apple says to us, all this information is uh, stored over there. It's never a store on the device. It's a counter terrorist against terrorist. It's never. Uh, it's always cipher, cipher. And after a lot of uh, research, I noticed that in, a, in, a, in conformity with the definition, these people is a, a four mega plus mega with their uh, with their own uh, operating system, which nothing has to do with the uh, Apple's operating system, with um, the secure and processor, um, the subutil um, tool as well. Uh, how can you access this um, tool? Is what is is contained in the roundix of H7 su roundix dot DMG which is located on this path. You have to uh, cut the very first um, 27 bytes. So it's necessary to strip out the very first zero um, per one byte, so 27, to make the DMG readable. I'll send you a Wikipedia link for you to check it properly. It's not about telling, OK, this is a tool and uh, launch it. No, you need to be uh, on the safe side, because you can uh, you, you can spend money on something which is not that uh, useful. Entonces, bueno, yo dije, vale. So I said to myself, if this is a, fl a 4 mega flash memory, and according to uh, other opinions, um, it, it turns out that whenever the mobile phone reinitializes, all the information on the security enclave uh, disappears, is deleted. 2 plus 2 are 4. If the information on the memory deletes, this means that the information sometimes goes up to the memory as well. So where all this information can be stored, it can be stored on the phone. It, so, I analyzed the Diamond Biometric Kit, which is the process uh, doing all the biometric process with Apple Pay, and I realized that uh, the memory direction address, there is a branch. So, inside the Biometric Kit, we find a memory address. Such method is the one used to upload all the information to secure enclave. All these cross-reference, all these calls, take information from the terminal and send it to the secure en enclave. And from the secure enclave, um, we also take information and store it on the terminal. So when uh, Apple says, OK, nothing of the uh, user information on the device, that's a false. Uh, many, of, many of these uh, pieces of information are on your mobile phone on uh, Apple, unfortunately. And you need to, to investigate much more on this. So after all this um, heavy talk, I'm, I'm, am I doing fine with the time? So messing with runtime. Okay, touch ID. So how can we meddle with the runtime and take information from the memory? And as I said before, what is that? Um, the touch ID is um, a biometric sensor on iPhone 5S, 6, and which uh, has a purpose to allow users to unlock their device uh, as well as make purchases in the various Apple stores and to authenticate Apple Pay Online or in apps. You have your fingerprint register on the device. How Touch ID process, how does it work? You uh, approach your uh, finger, this scan, the topology of your fingerprint, create a series of nodes and store the coordinate 1x and, the, and scan the, 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 the whole figure and is stored properly. 
Secure Enclave y también el So Sense for Scannable Objects, Scan Objects, Construct Input Map Based on Scan uh, Results, Construct a Lower Resolution Input Pattern, then Run Match Comparison of Input Map with Possible Match Identities. So uh, these, are, these are the results. You can access the application or make the payment. After this theory has been explained, now many, many problems come. I register a fingerprint, I'm going to make a payment. What is going on underneath? What is in the, in the lower um, layer? We don't know. There's no documentation. Documentation. Uh, nobody has done a research on, on this public. If you check the papers sent and uh, launched by Apple, you can find a lot of information. So we are in a big ocean of ignorance. We don't know where to start looking for. So I said to myself, okay, I first need whenever I'm uh, making an operation with the phone, what changes in the uh, files, in the operating system uh, are happening? What, what is going on with the fingerprint? What is, is cooking underneath? So there is a um, um, uh, tool by uh, Hota J. Levin, workaround, file monitorly made by J. Levin. Due to reason I don't know, he, this guy J. Levin didn't compile for iPhone 8, so so I talk with Panke, Panke, uh, Panke uh, programs at the speed light time. So in five minutes, I, I will fix you. Oh, you're fucking vinyl file. So once uh, Panke sits my ass from this, savage my ass, I started uh, noticing that if you have um, downloaded the slide, you'll, you'll see better. Whenever I register the fingerprint, the springboard um, keeps um, storing images in the biometric kit creates the uh, template kit template list uh, temporary file with the topology of the nodes and the coordinates of your fingerprint then i identify the two binary files i like the most the biometric kit and the spring the spring board and there was a problem. I identified the files generated and the ones that could be of vital importance to my uh, research, but I couldn't copy them or access them. Why? Because basically the processes were using the GunLink method, which uh, um, when you receive the, 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 the path from the uh, file, it deletes the link. So there's no human way of copying this file because there is no such a file. So we are coming to the, the first world, this thinking world. So I don't know what he's looking for, but I can I can copy the, um, the files. With this this uh, thing, you cross it out with uh, sorry, and processes, the binary, you put things inside, and you'll get to overwrite this function of uh, gunling and you'll get on the on the right to have an array with all the uh, files when you can get to the end of the final path copy it and that's brilliant that's really brilliant so I copy all the files I'm happy but uh, the UIL share cache how do binary work with all these files new obstacle so all binary working with this, if I need to, to do a dumping of the, the classes and methods to um, create them, I need first to have the binary. So, problems, on they go. So on the public libraries, you know, corresponding to a frame where it has been compiled in, in, on a cache file. You, so you need to, to get this, this file to parse the structure and copy binary by binary and framework by framework, as you can see on screen. So libraries have been compiled into a big cache file. All binaries, all libraries from system library frameworks and system library uh, private frameworks are now located in system library cache con dot apple d y l l d and then with the uh, j levin tool you execute the first line extract the whole thing and the second option which um, reach you to all the binaries contained in the cache file the problem with this is that you're gonna mm, take a l take on a lot of gigs of space if you know mm, what you're looking for get it this is it i got the binaries so i can 
put your seat belt, I can do a dumping of the classes and methods, I can identify which ones are interesting for me, I, which one I can hook, and now I got a problem. When I'm going to, to touch him with the second, my, my uh, phone crashed and reinitialized because all system binaries are compiled with this uh, the seat belt, which is a kernel extension that restricts a set of features from being used from some processes and how I interact with them. What is the solution? A workaround. You can use IDG to extract the entitlements, modify the seat belt field of a binary, which is an XLM. So you modify the entitlement, but this basic is, is basic for you to get the seat belt. And you uh, change it, you, you parse it, you uh, swap this with a hexadecimal editor. You push, you push the binary, and this is it. Nothing is, is wrong. So you, you got it right. Now it's clear what the, is the foundation that sustain uh, this whole thing. You have extracted the, the patterns, mission, uh, steps to initiate our research. And now let's move on to the toughest part. Apple says to us that the, the map, the fingerprint thing with nose and topology of your finger, it, no, don't make such an effort because uh, this is not a store on your mobile phone, it's a store in the security enclave. You're losing, you're wasting your time. If you make a backup, uh, it's, it's not on an iCloud store. So I, I took this as a challenge, as a defiance. What, what is the real truth about this? So, I'm going to reverse the binary. I'm going to, to make a string. What is cooking uh, underneath? There was a file, this uh, path, which was uh, uh, biolog, biolog. Bio, you, need, you don't need to be very clever. So, oh, you say biomed and then biolog. Okie dokie. So it sounds very interesting to me. So I started checking it and I see you are looking for the book log enable key. And it, by default, uh, to false. My gosh, these people have put the binary and you can enable the debugging option and see information, but I don't buy it because it's Apple. My goodness, these are very, very um, expensive 800 euros phones. So I, I'm going to create this, um, this file. I'm going to name it this way and put it on this path. What can, what, what can happen to the mobile phone when you reinitiate your mobile phone and play metal with the fingerprints. Can you get a, an idea? Hola, mira, has metido un dedo, otro dedo, bueno, una polla. Oh my goodness, you put my finger in, you put your dick in it. My goodness, my gosh. You put your dick in it, your finger in it. These are the four fingers you put in it. This file, this file, should you look in for it, all your fingerprints in are inside. Oh, what's going on here? What's the hell going on? When I registered that, we're processing an image. The image has been accepted. We have put this uh, uh, shine inside. The remastered image is this. The, the grayscale image is this. Oh, you have created six nodes, which is the number of times you have to put the, your finger on the center. And this uh, center topolo topology, this is uh, coordinate one on the angle, uh, the surface calculated. What the fuck? How did you? Did you put your this ham, this finger, this choice on it? Shamanet. This was. Uh, I don't. I don't know that the way around this, but when I activate this, my goodness, this is a the surprising box. So I'm gonna tell you now what the binaries and interesting methods you have to 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 check and to, to play around. Basically speaking, you may not you tune uh, and make a pool of the binary, you push flash down, you do a dumping of classes and methods, and you'll get all the objective fields, classes, you know how to interact with all of this, because it's a real heavy thing to explain. So if you go to these websites like um, Binary Searcher, you put the, the binary on the header, point H, and you'll get all the information. I'm going to tell you that the three most interesting sections are the ones in charge of the biometric operations with biometric kit framework, biometric trick kit, and preference 
Services uh, applications uh, regarding NFC control. You have the NFC controller, the near field framework, and some uh, libraries, which is f uh, open source free code used by Android. If you want to check some failures and tricks, you can uh, check the, the code instead of reversing. You also have the secure enclave with the CPU to the binary tool I mentioned before, you check it on the, the iPhone wiki, it's like the Bible for those of you who like iPhone, and you check this binary, I've been messing around with this binary, and I can get information from the security enclave when they say you couldn't, but it's, um, it's a known uh, path, I, I skip it. Now, I'm going to show you four silly examples because the, my talk is, is about to finish. So I will tell you the four classes where you have to inject with cycling to in extract information uh, from the template and from the fingerprints and to decipher the whole thing to extract the fingerprint from the, 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 the finger itself. My metric kit identity, uh, this is, uh, takes a class containing information of all the fingerprints registered on the terminal. Something that Apple, Apple says, no, you don't. I, we don't store. We don't store this, but this is a lie. So you have an entry for uh, for every fingerprint associated to the system, and this is the number of the fingerprint assigned correctly when it was created, how many times. I used my fingerprint to access an application or to, to make a payment, and the number of the fingerprint corresponding within the system. Luego tenemos eh, la clase de template list, que básicamente lo que nos devuelve es... We also have the BL template list, which is the template associated information to each identity enrolled into the device. The template is the image or the topology in this very case with all the nodes corresponding to the representation of the fingerprint. Y lo mismo. You keep the, the template list, the, the timestamp, and if you reverse it, and you'll see it, you'll uh, find the protocol in place, the way this information is stored through the process. Um, if you reverse it, you can get the fingerprint back to from the device. Template info. Template info has several uh, fields. Some one are, are public, public fields, compiling additional information uh, regarding the fingerprint, how many times the fingerprint was used, and you have this uh, sloppy thing, which is the the, crypt, the encrypted uh, part of the fingerprint with this topology. Here you get the number of nodes composing the image, the class of notes made upon the, the image, the uh, area surface scanned. I, I did several tests, but perhaps my fine tests uh, didn't allow me to do more. So if you have broader and, uh, and grosser um, fingers, you can do it with a sensor. This is the bioclock based class. Whenever you uh, make an operation with Apple Pay or Tauchery, all the logs information contains uh, all the logs down for the Touch ID component. You can dump all the information. You don't need to decipher the files of uh, Topolis because it's dumped over there. And then the XPC protocol to send information with the biometric trick XPC server. Here, you got uh, two interesting things. Directly, you'll get the cache where where the fingerprint is registered associated with an identity. We say that the fingerprint is the identity uh, to be registered on the terminal, and you set the, the catacomb files is one I'm signaling. This is this file, uh, according to uh, Apple. Apple says this um, file never is uh, stored, so, and you can access this file whenever you want to. If you go to this um, uh, cat, you'll find this, um, this file. File, file contain all the information of all the the, the, the sloppy things registered by this the sensor the, 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 the sensor the sensor registers everything not only your finger so it is a template that contains all the information about the fingerprints added into the system and the very interesting part is the fingerprint which is uh, is encrypted so some information is readable but most interesting one is base 64 encoded and encrypted
This is the template layers uh, .cat file, and this is the encrypted part of the fingerprint. You do a 64, open it with a hexadecimal editor, and this is the, the own uh, file generated by Apple to create the the, the, fing the fingerprints. Is, uh, you have to refine the binary and see how things are working properly. So in the very uh, it's like being a poker on coach and trainer you have to spend so many hours and see which is the best one I will show you the best uh, and the most interesting ones gotta catch them all we do first have the decode catacomb data v1 which, which is this this file I saw you before um, you saw the, the, the encrypted method so it, this method uh, receives parameters and gives back and if you want to decipher you can go with this method, decode catacomb data v1. Second, pull the back image data, brings back not the final uh, image from the secure enclave, but the one you, you get when you put the fingerprint in the device. It gets you the information on topology, enables the login of the secure enclave protocol, and then the two remaining ones uh, correspond to the secure element. I overviewed, but I didn't meddle around with them a lot. You have the get data, read binary, get applications, get certificates, and all this stuff. And the names tell you this is the juicy thing in between. Do I have six minutes left? What is the problem with the touch? Regarding the implementations of the local authentication, so you you can you can use the um, several um, strategies with with the local authentication. Uh, I will skip it very very quickly. You don't have uh, okay. LA security local authentication trust the OS in keychain trust the secure enclave. There is no direct access. To to secure enclave, no access to register fingers, no access to fingerprint image. The, com the verification comes from the hard disks and the operating system. If you want to bypass this and make a payment on Apple Pay and all these uh, known banking applications, what the, what the, the second factor of authentication, you first check the binary is using the local authentication framework. So you check the can evaluate policy which pre-flies an authentication policy to see if it's possible for authentication to succeed and th thirdly the evaluate policy evaluates a specified policy with a boolean uh, value which is true or false depending on if this bool uh, this uh, fingerprint is correct or not this is the example of the code this is the evaluate policy which checks if uh, it can evaluate for the specific uh, fingerprint if successful gives the way to the application if not it gives you an error and go back to the password for the word of the application you defined before you attach this to the process and you escape um, the, the application you, you can make the, the, the payment without uh, swiping your fingerprint should I conduct a demo for you I guess I got uh, two demos. One is a um, live demo and the other one is a video. Vale. Eh, lo que hago es voy a hacer la prueba con Ever con Dropbox, ¿vale? I'm gonna choose Dropbox. Dropbox. Put your finger to access the secrets of this application. I put a fingerprint which is not original. I access the application. So I can uh, see that I can access the application. Great. I copy the sloppy thin of Sidekin. I put it over here. And there you go. I'm hooking uh, the method, regardless of I'm putting um, a good thing or a bad thing, it tells me something. I'm testing by I'm getting the access, I execute, and when I open the application, it says passcode out. And you didn't you didn't put anything, and you skip it. Passcode skip, and you access. This uh, applies to Apple Pay to make payments. First demo, second demo. Bueno, lo que os comentaba antes.
Who is, who is screwing up here? What's out there? Uh, besides Apple moving the technology and they are doing this fucking shitty way. So we got f Fastpad, Amazon, Naughty, uh, this is the, 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 the bad sheep in this family. So you want to, instead of modifying uh, the attach the uh, ordinary time of execution, you want to modify the binary, you want to tamper the binary, you knob the, the branches equal, knob, knob, and you make the knob to be executed all the time. If you receive an iPhone on the string, you can access an application with gear, gear play, break or not, or, or is exploitable or not, if you want to access the, um, the banking account system, it's enough to find the method for you to write in a knob to upload the, um, the binary and to see it, brilliant. Uh, do, do I have time for conducting the second demo? Yes, of course. I'll conduct the second demo live for you, for all of you guys. And uh, with the, the, you can do it with the tip of your nose. I'm a single. I'm a bachelor, so a girl can help me with this with her, her finger. I, I will build a hotspot, and you can decide on the go how things are working. Uh, somebody, girl from the auditorium, somebody of you want to help me out with this situation? <laughs> don't flatter me, don't flatter me. I, I know you, I know you for sure, man, at the back. Please don't screw that my Wi-Fi, <laughs> so you will, uh, you, will ruin, you will ruin my demo. Vale, mític solteros exigentes. Y mític uh, demanding bachelors and single men. Vale, ya me estaba cojonando porque no aparecía el airplay. Digo, no me jodas. Here we go. I was, uh, was, 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 was fucking vale. scared of the whole situation. Some, o, some, somebody from you, any one of you, Nadie. can bueno, pues put uh, no sé si their finger in it. I don't know if it's going to work, guys, but I'm putting my nose on it. <laughs> There, here we go. <laughs> here we go. No, this is a fucking joking thing. <laughs> don't don't imitate those who use the tip of their noses to do this kind of things, players. <laughs> Whatever part of your body or our organs are usable for this purpose, it's, a, it's, a, it's not that, 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 that joke. It's magic. This is magic. I love this guy, <laughs> this magician on screen. Conclusions we can draw. My talk was a kind of funny, joking thing. There's not a real vector of attack that can trigger effects because you need first to have the device with gear break and the structure from Apple, even though you scratch it, even though you, you'll get information from the memory and you have detected the, the, the files. It's a robust, in spite of it, it's a robust. Apple technology, so a jailbroken device is required to at least scratch the surface and, and, and with even the, that information obtained is not highly sensitive, and so you, that's uh, what, what it's happening. Uh, so if you are developers, uh, you said that, um, okay, the Touch ID integration works better with keychain ACLS, the integration with local authentication dot framework is not recommended to protect your assets. Like I said before. Thank you, thank you guys for your participation, the organizers, and thank you, especially you, all of you, my fellow attendants, my fellow, for having listened in to a very heavy presentation. Uh, should you have any questions, please raise your hands. He will kindly ask you all. And respond and will respond to all your questions, of course, as well. Muy buenas, Sebas. Oh, good afternoon, Sebas. Regarding the the part of point CAD when you were trying to decipher with a um, decode method, have you ever tested and tried? They they have uh, anti-replay mechanisms. 
I take my fingerprint from mine, I copy on yours, it, that works. You copy the template, you paste it on the other one, and it's, it's working properly. The problem with this is that uh, nowadays it's only supported by some American bands in Spain. You know this is done in a very sloppy way, they want to use their own wallet solution here in Spain. So if you want to test how th these things work, you need to go to the United States and test it over there. I, I did this test in the States when I was working there and I never thought about creating a replay or anti-replay tag. You can copy the file and paste it on the, on the other mobile phone. Any more questions? No more questions. Thank you, thank you, Sebas, for your wonderful presentation. Thank you.